you relaxed? No? Well, get your popcorn and be prepared for a story like no other. Years ago, in a school, a, bo a boy called Ellis brought an extremely weird shaped box into show and tell. Everyone was looking peculiar. I found this shiny egg growing in the forest, said Ellis, bragging about this massively strange egg like nothing I've ever encountered. In an instant, a flash of lightning lit up the room which gave Ellis a jump, and he lost grip of the egg, which was sent under the desk. Just then, the desk started to hover, but it was what was holding the, the desk up was the real shock. Could this be true? A scaly, green, fearless dragon peeked at everyone scared and shocked faces. I hid the dragon in my bag, but before I could, my whole class saw the dragon. Everyone screamed apart from the teacher, who got the remains of the shattered eggshell from, for proof. Just then, my teacher said, let's get this dragon, and called animal control. Can I save the dragon? Well, read on to find out, if you dare. I fed him raw meat with wine gums on top and sprinkled tuna on top as well. That's all he will ever eat. Every 24 hours it will grow. He might even shrink if I fed it something else, so I haven't dared to try it, not after all the effort I put in to help it grow. We go for rides in the air. Well, now we do. It took me two years to teach you how to fly. We have naps together, which makes him really happy. Actually, I don't sleep. I just lie down with him just to make him happy. I love my dragon so much, but I can't remember right, so I try to do all these things. Even though I love him, I knew I had to let him go home. Because every night he tried to draw his parents with his claws on the wooden floor, scratching away at it in the shape of two adult dragons, probably his mum and dad. I need to let him go home. One night, I walked into a full carved drawing of two adult dragons. And one real one. It was my friend. He misses him, his parents so much. I needed to make a plan. While I was thinking, I heard a faint flapping noise coming from the window. Flap, tap, flap, tap, flap, tap, flap. He was trying to fly home. Can he do it? Even though I knew it would hurt inside, I have to get him home. I flew around my garden on the dragon's back to help him practice. Next thing I knew, I was flying over the forest. Then I heard a deafening, gigantic roar. I tried to ignore it, but my dragon flew straight down. My, my dragon and I looked around for the thing that roared. Could it be his parents? Just then, a bush started to rattle, and out came two gigantic dragons and a little baby one, who towered over us. My dragon stared at them, and then started to smile. Silently and quickly, I walked back frightened, but then I realised these were his parents. My dragon roared as to say goodbye. I hugged him with all my might. Then... Slowly, a tear trickled down my face onto his. Bye, I said. You know what? I think I'm going to remember him. Good night. Oh, you want more? Well, maybe tomorrow. Now, good night.